Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Now this video is about creating dashboard. So if you have gone through my last video, in that video I have explained uh, you about uh, creating reports and, and uh, working with reports. So continue with continue to that video, I am going to show you how to work with uh, dashboard or what exactly the dashboard is. So uh, a definition of dashboard, a dashboard consists of one or more uh, panels displaying data visually in a useful way such as events, table, chart or, or stats or any other data or, or, or normal events also you can show it in a dashboard. So, so in short you can say a dashboard is a collection of reports and reports has a saved searches. Okay, this is the pure definition of, of a, a dashboard. So a report can be used to create a panel on a dashboard. So uh, a dashboard is a consist of different different panels. So uh, we will see how you, how you can create a, a panel or or how how can you add a report into the dashboard. So let's add a report into the dashboard so this is the report which i have, cre I have created in my uh, uh, in my previous video so in this video i have already explained all uh, in my previous video I'll, i i have already explained the detail about this uh, tabs so now let's go to next tab uh, of it creating a dashboard add to a dashboard directly you can create it uh, add a report from here to the dashboard so if you have a new dashboard, so uh, give the detail about it, demo, demo dashboard. Okay, and dashboard ID, it will always, uh, if you don't give underscore as well, it will always uh, take it as an underscore. So keep in mind. So, and then the description is optional. Uh, one thing uh, to be noticed if you have already existing dashboard like see there are few dashboard are there if you want to add this report in existing dashboard you can do that or else you can uh, save it as, as per your requirement so by default uh, the dashboard permission is uh, private you can uh, make it public to share to the application or or uh, within an application to multiple user or or uh, uh, between the apps you can share your da dashboard as it's uh, the permission is uh, works similar to uh, any of the report so if you have panel uh, panel name in mind so you can uh, use that panel or uh, or you need, if you want to give a panel uh, name you can uh, I will give a panel name as employee record. Okay. So I am not uh, using inline search, I am using as a report. And also, a report uh, in what type the report can be a column chart or, or a statistics. So currently, I am using a statistics, so it should be a statistics. So for now drill down it's uh, no I'll show you how can we uh, drill down uh, to a particular event or to the drill down from your events. Okay so click on save. So once you click on save uh, it will show you uh, the dashboard has been created and you can may, uh, you may uh, now view the dashboard. Now once you click over here it will show you the the actual dashboard which you have created uh, from your report so it's currently it's only single dashboard so you can create a multiple dashboard this is only single panel uh, which says that it's employee record you can make adjacent panel or below panels let's see how can how it, it works so I'm, I'm using the word panel so let's have a look why create a panels for the reports so the first thing it is uh, 
efficient to create most dashboard panel based on the report because a single report can be used across the different dashboard one report can be used different dashboard this links the report uh, definition to the dashboard so so it will link the report definition to the dashboard any changes to the underlying report affect every dashboard panel that utilize that report so it's nothing but a calling a function so if whenever you are using that panel this panel anywhere you can use this panel uh, this panel can have multiple reports or a single report so you can use this panel in in other report as well other dashboard as well so this is uh, beneficial for reusing your reports in multiple dashboards so let's uh, play around with the dashboard so first uh, i will show you how can we you edit the uh, panel so once you have uh, saved your dashboard so so dashboard will look like this so if you want to do any any modification or anything uh, you want to play around with the dashboard so you need to click on edit so here it will show you ui and then next one is uh code source code so if you have you are good at uh, uh xml format uh so you can uh, you can create a dashboard in back uh, backend as well so there are many things you you can only create in backend so we you should have a little bit understanding of it so and and uh, the panel which i am calling about this is the panel so you can drag and drop if you have multiple panels over there let me add uh, one more panel so let's have let's and second we add panel so i will add when one panel like uh, column chart and I need to give a query so this similar query I will be I will be using okay table table name so I will use the same query over there okay and time picker I have not used a uh, global time picker so let's let's uh, have a look on that as well so if we I, I will do that I will click on ok it will look like this and this is why what I was talking about that you can tra drag and drop over here okay so I was talking about uh time picker so if you have add time picker so now in inline query you can see the time picker so whenever you you change the time this report will get changed so in this how to do that it's a different way of doing it so I'll show you in, in my upcoming video how can you change uh, the report uh, time picker value over there okay so the, the next will be here you can see more uh, value one or more values here more actions so in that this action two, two things uh, can be there one is drill down option so drill down option what you exactly want to do first the the automatic will be linked to search so whenever you will click on any of the any of this it will link to the search and there is multiple options are there no actions link to the dashboard link to report link to url manage token on this dashboard 
so these are the multiple of options are there this will come in a advanced version but but for now uh, you need to uh, understand that uh, these many options are there okay and once you click over here uh, you need to apply it so the next option on this is uh release release uh, is nothing but uh, means uh, nothing but it will show you a different values for different uh, form because uh, this this again it will be the advanced one so i am not uh, uh, showing you over here okay so once you save it with this option drill down option once you save it now if i click over here it will redirect you to city equal to pune if you if you can see it it is showing me should city equal to pune and the name equal to whatever the the things will be there it will show you like i have clicked over here so it will show you name equal to this and then and, and name equal to uh, kabir and then uh, city equal to pune like see i clicked over here it is drilling down me to that particular particular event so similarly or also time range it will pick the same time range which is uh, present over there okay so this is about drill down and and its visualization so next can be uh, if i go to that dashboard if we if if i do not have permission uh, to edit this dashboard what you can do is uh, i can go and clone the dashboard i uh, if i want to change clone itself or temp temp and i i will clone it so you can see it over here it's clone and then all the things will be and you can change as per your requirement the search can be changed when you click over here in the filter you can do all other op operations as well you want to select the visualization you can select the visualization under the panel see you can see the visualization formatting you can change the formatting as you have done on the reports all the format formatting can be done here here everything can be done which you have performed with the report so it's treated as a single reports and the combination of it uh, the uh combination of we it or 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 when we club together uh, these reports it for, it will form it as a dashboard okay so if you want to uh, uh if you have done any changes it will uh, show uh, highlight you the save uh panel save option otherwise it won't to show anything just you cancel it and you move ahead now next one in this is you what you can do is edit export and and print you can export your your dashboard to pdf and if you want to send this pdf to uh, to your customer or or uh, or anyone you can send it so this is how it will look like in the pdf format when you download it okay this is this is very useful feature when you want to because because the dashboard there is limitation of dashboard you cannot uh, send this da dashboard as a email so the best way you just uh, download as a pdf and this pdf can be sent as a in the email so one more uh uh main thing about uh good thing about uh dashboards are you can set this dashboard as a uh, home page home page dashboard so you can choose it over here from here you can choose it uh i can select the dashboard which i, I have created Use the dashboard. 
demo okay save so whenever i i will log in uh, i can see this dashboards okay let me log in and uh, log out and log in once again so show me the same dashboard which I have created so guys that's it about the video let me show you how can you search for the dashboard which are there already in the in your uh, record so so whenever you click on search and reporting there are multiple tabs are there where you can see the reports alerts and here you can see the dashboard which you have created so please follow the naming convention as well i have created demo dashboard and and for which purpose you have created to put underscore email uh, employee record or something so i should have created but it's okay for now so just bear in mind about the naming convention so guys that's it about the video thanks for watching and have a great day thank you